Hello mga ka-Amethyst po! Welcome sa aking YouTube channel, Amethyst Amber Intuitive Psychic at sa Facebook page, Amethyst Intuitive Psychic. I am now going to do a monthly reading for Sagittarians for June 2021. So, this will resonate with you or not. Kung ikaw ay may Sagittarius sa iyong chart, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, or cross-watcher, just tune in. If not, kung hindi mag-resonate karamihan, just check the other videos na lang po for guidance, okay? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Kawalan ng stability when it comes to your finances or career. Doon iikot ang kwento ng iyong June 2021. Nine of Pentacles, dahil sa iyong obligasyon, para ka raw breadwinner or someone who's providing for your family. So, kahit na hindi stable ang iyong career finances, you will strive to take responsibility or gagawa ka ng paraan. And you will make them proud of you. Nine of Cups, yung responsibilities pa rin, pangangalaga at pagiging um, pag-uobliga sa sarili. Queen of Swords, but you are going to discipline or maaaring ikaw ay lumaking disiplinado ng iyong pamilya at mga magulang, especially ng isang nanay or lola. Um, you're also going to learn how oh, maaring galing ka rin sa, sa pamilya ng mga sundalo, militar, mga, mga disiplinarian, ganyan. Um, because of your family, uh, you feel, ano, parang feeling mo kulang, yung hindi mo pa na-achieve yung goal mo for them. And you, you try to get their attention or acknowledgement or gusto mo mapaligaya, mabigyan ng um, ma-reach mo yung, ano, yung expectations ng pamilya mo para sa'yo. Five of Swords, feeling bigo, feeling lost, feeling na hindi mo kayang ma-reach or hindi, hindi pala ganun kadali. I don't feel ach achieving something para sa kanila. But two of Pentacles means you're Maybe because you're juggling, wala kang focus, hindi focus ko ano yung priority mo sa buhay. You might be doing something else, pero iba yung pinapagawa sa'yo. Maaaring iba ang laman ng puso mo, pero kailangan mong sundin ko anong gusto ng karamihan. Six of Swords in Reverse at hindi ka makaalis ang makatakas. Now, it's the time for you to reveal secrets. Ah, oh, malamang. Okay, ganito ang eksena nito. Possible na ikaw ay, let's say, third, um, okay, LGBT. Pero ang family mo is very conservative. So, closet pin ka, or ikaw ay, um, lesbian that wants to keep the secret. Nakatago ang secret ito, pero the family is very strict, so hindi mo masabi yung gusto mo. O hindi mo ma-express yung feelings mo for them. But, it's time for you to juggle things out or mag-decide kailang po paninindigan yung sarili kong gusto. Ngayon, pwede rin naman ito ay kwento ng isang taong kwento ng isang taong third party. Nasa isang third party relationship na you're juggling two people at the same time or more than two people at the same time. So, within the month, iikot doon ang kwento ng iyong buhay. Okay? Oo, Sagittarius ha. Aggressive ha. <laughs> Tingnan natin ang iyong love life. your past, your agonies, your feelings, please your ex. Hindi lang specific na tao ito, kundi i-let go daw ang mga nagpapaburden sa'yo. Because you deserve love. Be yourself. Be honest to yourself. Ayan. Para maging honeymoon. Honeymoon means para maging masaya. For you to enjoy the bliss of the time, the, the life that you have. You just have to provide a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with, with the people around you. Para hindi sila maapektuhan ng todo or masaktan man sila, you will feel um, you will feel much appreciated along the way matatanggap ka rin nila. Matatanggap din nila ang, ang iyong 
sitwasyon. Very soon, this will change your life for the better. At yung mga unrequited love or mga hindi na masayang pagmamahalan or pag, pag, uh, pag-ibig or connection ay magkakaroon na linaw. Just trust the process of life. Prayers first before making a decision. It will make you feel better. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and follow my page on Facebook. Click that notification bell icon for updated videos and live reading. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Good luck. Bye-bye.